te iwi, nau mai, hoki mai ki tēnei pāpahotanga Awhakaata Māori. Ka mihi nui ki a koutou kato, kei te whare, kei uh, te tehi iwi ki te tehi iwi. Uh, nau mai, hoki mai ki Rotorua, uh, ki te National Secondary Schools Competition uh, here in Rotorua. Uh, mai, an exciting game we have coming up here. Yes, this is a hot game. If my intel's correct... The uh, Rotorua Boys High School is not at this game. <laughs> Second time I've been set up. The Palmerston North Boys High School and the Southland Boys High School, sorry, it was the Southland Boys High School had just played Rotorua High School. Um, a little birdie told me that I get that one right. And uh, they just got up against them 6 5. Rotorua mm, great Boys game. High School, they are the guns. Like them and. Hamilton Boys High School for the longest time. You look at the winners list. I was looking at the winners list of the men's competition, the uh, sorry, the boys competition, just a little while ago. And if it wasn't Rotorua winning it, it was uh, Hamilton Boys High. So obviously Southland have come here ready to play, and they ripped in in that first game and got one up over one of the top teams, one of the one of our favourites. As we see here, the Palmerston North Boys High School. Who's the key players we're looking for in this team, Sean? Yeah, so coming down to Palmerston Boys North High School, um, we have players to watch out for. Chance, Sherrod Chase, Bailey Ngatai, and Trey Lush. And we also have quite a prestigious player in the box there in the coaching role of Carson Hippie out of the Waitere team, as well as uh, Brett Cribb and Shalina Durston as the manager. You look at the... Southland Boys High School team names and when you see a name in there like Muliaina you know you better watch out because they're probably coming for you and uh, the name that sticks out for me not only is coach Liam Howley but also Scotty the assistant coach and, and Scott he was a superstar in the men's grade and the mixed grade he was a superstar when he was coming through in the age groups and then he went and been a superstar in the rugby as well so just having someone of his, his level in terms of success he's had uh, around the Southland Boys high, uh, high School team. I have no doubt the incredible impact that he has there. Our three referees, we've got Michael Buttery. You've seen his mum a little bit earlier refing. Well, this is the son, Michael Buttery. She's probably refed for as long as he's been alive. Um, maybe he even got made at a referee's tournament. We've got Caleb Downs. He is one of the top referees in the country. Has been for a long time. Absolutely. Very fit, very fast, good communicator, very decisive. I really like the way Caleb refs. And then we've got Quinn Murphy. If I'm honest with you, this is probably one of the best three, three referee teams that you'll see today. So hopefully the quality of the refs and the quality of these two boys teams mean the game is going to be awesome. No, we're in for a, a great game here as we have Southland boys in the blue going from your left to right on the screen there as we come in for a 33 play. Number 14 on the ball was Mika Muliaina. Hot star, just a different intensity to these boys' games, isn't it? There? And the physicality of the games as well. It, it seems like there's so much more than six players. First penalty of the game. No, that'll be a crucial penalty with uh, Palmerston North boys charging up the field here. Fresh legs on early as they will look to get to the seven for their strike players to bring a bit of flair, I'd say. Have you ever played in the men's grade? Not at ended secondary schools. Uh, I was always in the part of the mixed grade. And uh, even going through my when I was back at school in 2018, every single time that the men's grade was going on, what a grade it was. It was such high intensity, free-flying, and just a great touch to watch. A great strong touch there from the link at Southland Boys there. You're obviously in the star-started loaded team, highly successful loaded team, which is in the men's grade. What do you notice the differences between when you're playing in the New Zealand Open mixed, in the mixed grade, and then, and then in the men's grade? Oh, look, a, a whole different strategy, um, especially through the power of the wahine coming through in the mixed grade and the way that we can utilise them, but also the way that we can utilise the mismatch of our tāne against their wahine is a, a great thing and a great skill to be able to, to go about. Um, the men's grade, as you can see here, very fast, very physical, um, end-to-end footy at all times. So great to see as the Southland boys coming through here with a strong drive coming from the number nine, O'Connell. Quick out of dummy half. Throw into the end goal. Touch and pass called. This pace is electric. One minute, 
the six touch is called the ball straight on the ground up and the other team is straight up the middle of the field and we're just going from end to end and here we see Palmerston North doing that exact thing now as they work towards their sub box fortunately couldn't quite get that roll ball there from Mulyaina straight and te kaha hoki o enei tama o enei tāne i runga i ngā uh, nga tima i rua um, very very strong players fast and uh, we're in for a great game here Mai Southland boys on attack just getting things sorted had a bit of a wasted one there Sweet number seven picking it up going short side Allendon I thought he was going to win a touchdown there. Good defense there from Palmerston North Boys High School. Southland Boys had a fresh set pretty close to their line, so that's a really good set of D. They're able to repel them. And now look at the pace straight away. The timing, the angles that they're coming from, strong roll balls. That ball hardly spending a moment on the ground, and it's up. It's the fourth one. They'll head back towards the middle with our set up for a pick. Yeah, and as we see there coming out of the Palmerston North Boys High half there, very strong roll balls, very, very technical with their roll, getting to one side of the defender so they're not able to get held up in that touch. Everything is fast and efficient and uh, just great to see. Another strong touch there made by the Palmerston North Boys defender. As we see, I think potentially the coordinator here of the Southland Boys, number six is Rico Muliaina. Footwork through into the end goal. Will he find someone to get free? Unfortunately, the back flick goes to ground. Couldn't find a free player, but promising signs there coming from the Southland boys. Yeah, both teams. I was actually really looking forward to seeing the Southland boys high team after the result that I heard earlier. But I'll tell you what's been impressive is this Palmerton North boys high. Their yards are, are really, really impressive. Unfortunately, uh, they've had a couple of these things happen where they just haven't been able to quite get to the fifth and sixth touch of their sets. But uh, easy fix, I have no doubt, as we see Coach in the box there. He'll be talking to the team. Uh, just letting them know, let's take care of business and then we can get down there and show them what we've got on the attacking end. But Southland, great defence. And here they are with Muyaina in the middle again. we just seen him go through. And the penalty given away there, Mai. Forward pass, I think. Just maybe a little bit keen. Got a little bit ahead of the dummy half and unfortunately had a turnover. But good touch there by the number 10 from Southland boys, Thomas Spain. I wouldn't be going to touch him. He looks like he's six foot five and 120 kgs of muscle, as we see. Palmerston North, boys high. Great catch there from the winger from Palmerston North. Hunter Hawk setting things back up in the middle. A big, strong touch. Was he in the ruck there? Oh, he's opened a gap through into the end goal. Will he find someone free? Easy as that. As we see, number seven, Bailey Ngatai, go down there for an easy score. I guess he sort of set it up with the roll ball. And we've seen uh, him linking up with number one, chance Sherard Chase yeah our attacking threat there just identifying that a strong touch was made and possibly caught up in the ruck there a little bit but exploiting the space there that was left from the defender and finding his player for the first try of the first men's game here Tane match this morning my 1-0 Southland on attack already on the score line see the number 16 there from Southland Jack Book really went after the defender then he wanted to and sure that was touched, it's being made. Yes, Jack Brook, noted down here as a year 10 player playing in the middle, a very, very uh, impressive feat there um, to be playing for such a very impressive team here in the likes of Southland Boys and being year 10 playing in the middle, a very, uh, very much a privilege to be playing in that position, Mike. When you're that good at year 10, I can only imagine what he's going to be like in another three years when he's here at year 13. So awesome to see that. Um, obviously works really, really hard. Coach got huge faith putting him into the middle. He must be a really um, quite mature young man in terms of his leadership, that, that, that confidence to be able to feel comfortable in the middle, as I imagine that there's a lot of pressure in there. To Absolutely, especially at the secondary schools nationals where we um, we tend to see the older students really dominate this um, this age group here uh, in, the, in the men's grade. Um, another strong touch there. Some very strong touches coming out of the links from South and boys. Um, not phasing Palmerston North boys too, too much here. They go back to work. Great defence from the number 12 Southland boys there, Cody Stevens, flying up at the link position to shut down that 33 play. See how more off to Sherrod Chase. Good finish. 
Yeah, is again, just finishing in that corner um, towards their sub box, making the Southland boys work a little bit harder to get to their fresh legs coming on. Very strong touch, causing the mistake there from Palmerston North boys. I believe that was number seven from Bailey Ngatai there, a strong touch in the link channel. And I think that just goes back to the calibre of coaching that they're receiving at Palmerston North Boys through the likes of Carson Heppi, a very experienced campaigner. Uh, all these micro skills I see out there, my, are things that I see him do on a game-to-game -game basis. So very good to see at Palmerston North Boys old school, uh, old boy giving back there as we see... Ngatai, hot on attack. Yeah, Bailey Ngatai, he got that penalty. He, he went after that two touches in a row. He knew they were short, so he was just stepping left to right to make sure that the referee knew as well. As we see him here, get the quickie, goes to his right. Bordel is down. A great finish there. I think we saw that coming, didn't we, Mike? Yeah, totally. I think what you see there is the referee is called the... Um, player from Southland that made the touch that he was short of the score and as you see Natai just setting things up working here with Ali gets the ball back and the person who touched him didn't quite get all the way back which is a great decision from the referee which means play through the greatest advantage that's what we always want um, as players and coaches and then he gets into a great try gets it down before the number seven from Southland could get across in terms of Nick Allen and as we see here Muliaina back on the ball working in conjunction with Thomas Spain He's through a pretty lethal earlier on. Yeah, quickie short side, steps back in, joins oh, up with Spain. Oh, and a great finish. Great finish there. As you say, a lethal pairing. Muliaina on the ball there. I believe we have two Muliainas a part of the team here. One here, Rico Muliaina with a great setup. Simple step back, check off. First, first shutter there from Palmerston was a little bit too late uh, with a great finish, getting down low for a very big boy there to get down so quickly was very, very impressive. Yeah, that was the impressive part because the pa pass was actually quite high. So for Thomas Spain to get the ball down before that shutting defender got to him was, a, was really, really impressive. Palmerston North straight back into it, 2-1. Palmerston North up. And just good to see from Southland boys here, they have some very athletic and strong links that can get to the ground so quickly. And what an asset that is in that link channel to be able to defend the lane, just like we have there from number 11 from Southland, uh, Jerome Buckley. Fa'a uh, what a great touch and a big presence he has been on that left link channel. Touch and pass called. Great defence from Southland, keeping them out here. Ruaki Te Tahi, the score as Southland boys look to come out of their half. Really good set of D, and, and I imagine your coach sees this to you every time. What you've got to do after you, you score a touchdown is make sure you um, D that next set. That's the most important one. Good set of yards here. That would be their next priority as they get fresh players on. Centering play back to the middle of the field. Great drive there from the number eight. Justin Shaw. Flowing into things. We see here Nick. Allen Din couldn't quite link up. That was a really good set from Southland. They obviously didn't finish in the way that they wanted to, but great set of yards, got the fresh players on and, and still had a really um, good chance on attack at the finish. No, absolutely there, Mai. It was, uh, as you say, very strong coming through the field with a strong finish, and I'm sure they'll be looking to exploit that side again later in this half. Palmerston North, back to what they're good at. Their yards, I'm really impressed with that so far. As we see Southland boys coming in, I'm sure they'll look to have a power scoop here as they're still about 20 out from the try line. Yes, they do. Number 15, Trey Lush. Great footwork, great speed. Unfortunately, just couldn't quite get the pass away in time and has been called there with a penalty for a touch and pass. What's it like when you, you're a defender, you make a touch, you turn to the corner that you need to go to and you see the scoop and it's going to go down your throat. <laughs> you're not going to quite get there. Uh, how do you chuck... Yeah, well, it's, it's, a, it's a tough position to be in, especially when you've got someone with such great footwork or speed coming straight at you. Uh, you've got to be very stable, very nimble on your feet, um, very hard to defend, especially when you're going, you know, one-to-one -one with some of the, the best attackers in the game. As we see number 15 here, Trey Lush, great low game. I think he has scored that. Yes, he has. What a great finish. What a great finish. Yeah, he's been lethal so far as well. Off the back of the scoop that... That gained them the penalty, and he gets down here with a quick low game. Close to a slam dunk, but a very, very clean finish there. Getting the ball to the ground just as quick as he got his body down, and a great try there by Lush. 3-1, bit of a surprise. It definitely doesn't feel like Palmerston North being that more dominant. I just think they've been more accurate with their opportunities down at the um, scoring end. 
Hi, Tika Tau there. Uh, my very strong both teams, and I think it's a very equal matchup. And I think at the end of the day, you put it down to the mistakes or the completions that you're making throughout the game. Got the combination back on again. You got Rico Muliaina with Thomas Spain. See them working together. Another quickie play. Ooh. Work the penalty there. Just unfortunately, the Palmerston North boys didn't quite move forward as far enough as the ref wanted them to. Yeah, and we'll just see Muliaina's game management here as he splits back open side. A left-right long ball. What a great pass. Can you pass left to right? Oh, I, I can try. <laughs> I can try, that's for sure. A great ball there as he runs a crossover quickie, I believe. Yep, splitting towards the shutting side with a left to right. Ball on a dime with a great finish there to the Southland boys winger. Number four It was Finn Hurley with a great finish. 3-2. I like it when it stays close. Oh, oh, absolutely. You'll also realise when it comes last day that I'm a captain of the drop-off committee as well. Oh, yes. Oh, I look forward to that. I hope we've got some in store for us. Palmerston North, 3-2 up. Been a really good battle. It's only five touchdowns, but I'll tell you what, it's been really end-to-end. -end some great attack. Yeah, no, absolutely. As we see Lush sitting in the pocket here, will they pass it? No. He goes for the low game. Probably quite a good option there, testing them through the middle with the low game. They've been quite threatening at the link. We see Lush out here at the left link position. Ball still in hand of Sherard Chase. Back to Dean's Emery. Bit, bit of a trick play just here on the last touch. Like you said, just handing the ball over in the right spot, making it as difficult as they can for the... Southland Boys High School to get down the field and get their subs off. Yeah, and as you said, my I think tactically we have a, a very, very equal game on our hands, and it's just going to come down to who completes the most sets, who can uh, turn these completed sets into tries, and who can defend the most sets successfully. Two to go here. Bailey Nartai. Sorry. Nick Allen didn't, couldn't quite catch. His link player there, good defense from Palmerston North boys high, work things out. I thought Southland might have had them there. This might be going back for a forward pass. I've seen the referee stepping back And a there. great turnover there. We have uh, number 11 there, Jerome Buckley Fa'atoya. In my opinion, he was a very strong center point of that defensive stop there. He was at the right link and had no cause in the play, but he was very, very um, strong with his communication and direction of his players. As we see the number seven, Nick Eldenden, come down the lane there. Nothing quite on as they look to reset in the middle. Yeah, just a little bit disjointed both teams in these last couple of sets. Here we see another set up played, the intercept. Yep, I would have pulled back to. Oh. Each team's got a number of sort of like I'd say second chances or the repeat set, whether that be a penalty more often than not. Yeah, absolutely. As we see uh, Southland boys look to try and make the most of the penalty given here. Unfortunately, forward pass. Forward huh? pass ruled on the field. As we finish up the Hafe uh, Tuatahi Toru Kite Rua Te Score uh, with Palmerston North Boys Toru Ki Southland Boys Rua. We'll be back shortly. <laughs> Get Christmas ready with our lowest prices. This is the perfect time to set up for Christmas. Lighting can really help make those really special moments. Decorations is to make things look ready. You want to make sure that everything's right. We can help you make it a Christmas to remember. Get the turkey on the Smoker Barbecue, $199. Relax on this timber bench set, $299. Be sun safe with a 2.5 metre market umbrella, $59. When you find a competitor's lower price on the same stock item, we'll beat it by 15%. Lowest prices are just the beginning. This isn't about cameras. It's about getting a better shot. So you can get a better result. A great photo of your property is more important than a picture of our agent. Hey. Sport is about more than just the game. It's about going from teammates to best mates. It's the high fives and helping hands. It's learning when to back yourself or back your buddies. It's actually being excited to get out of bed early on a Saturday. 
sport is about more than just the game. That's why Caltex is proud to help fuel school sports. No mai hoki mai e te iwi. Uh, nā whānau ngō ngā hau e whā i huri nō i tēnei motu ki wahi ke anō hoki uh, ki tēnei kēmu o Palmerston North Boys ki Southland Boys. Tōru ki te rua um, i, I roto i te hafe tuatahi. We've got a very exciting second half coming up here. Uh, he, he kēmu te re rawa tu tēnei between these two teams, Mai. Yeah, I didn't think it could get better, but we had a great game first up. Wanganui High School, and then we went into the girls' game where two outstanding teams and Westlake got over, and I thought, jeepers, if this standard keeps going, <laughs> we're in for a hot day. And then they have just come out, these two teams have just sprinted down one end of the field and back to the other the whole entire first half. It feels like there's been so much more attack than the scoreboard suggests, only 3-2. Um, Palmerston North on the right side of that ledger. And I wouldn't be surprised as we just sit behind and we've been listening to Assistant coach Scotty Eid deliver a bit of feedback to the team. I think they're going to come out really, really hot, this Southland Boys High School team. Oh, without a doubt, my very powerful across both teams. 1 to 16, only 14 can take the field, but through the entirety of each team, very strong. Shiro Chase off to Natai. Bag's not defending him. People that have got such fleet footed, it, it's, it'd be a nightmare. Absolutely, there, my. I think he's um, looking to be one of their main strike weapons here as he gets on the ball at dummy half, plays it back to the splitter, just like that. First play, first half, sec- oh, first play of the second <laughs> half, sorry, there, my. Wow, what a great try. Yeah, Tiamo dots down there, the number four from Palmerston North. Sorry. That was a replay of one of the Southland Boys High School touchdowns in the first half. Unfortunately, didn't quite get the one there from Tiamo, the number four from Palmerston North. Boys high, but great setup, great try. 4 2 Palmerston North, Southland straight back. You don't even get a chance to finish the replay in terms of talking about the next team's nearly scoring. As we see Thomas Spain off to Mulyaina, the dynamic duo. These two are together, then we need eight players on defense. No, absolutely, my. As we see, Southland boys come out just as hot on attack as Palmerston North boys did come half time. As we see this combination back in the middle there. Rico Mulioina gets the ball, goes on the outside. When, when I was refereeing out, I'd watch players, the slower they moved, it's almost as if they're half asleep. They're the ones that you knew. They knew exactly what they were going to do, and they just come out with some incredible things. They're terrible, too, because I'd start to run left, and they'd throw it right or vice versa. So, Rico, he called in the number 12. He said, you have a turn, Cody Stevens. Yeah, I think we might look to see a bit of a play here from Muli Aina coming down the lane in the 33 channel. Left to right long ball, finds the chopper, and a great try there. I think we saw that coming from a mile away, didn't we, My Very lucky in the position we're in, but Palmerston North boys not so quite... Lucky to see what we saw. I'd love to jump on your walker and say we saw that, but only you saw that. I had no idea what was coming, so that's why you are in here. Not only are you the man with the reel, but you can see what's going to happen in the future. You read that one perfectly. Just great vision there, Mai, wasn't it, by uh, Muli Aina to find his partner, Spain, there, who we've been talking about quite a bit throughout this game. Spain, a very big presence in that link position. Uh, Very physical, but also, well, can he move? Yeah, can he what? You talked earlier about the Southland boys first 15 and the success that they've had this year, and I have no doubt that he's probably in the team just by looking at him. But with his speed and skill, he could be playing fullback first five or in the the, um, the flankers. Good no, defense. Absolutely. As we see, Southland coming out of their half here. A, a game, nonetheless, with the score. Whaakite Toru, a great check off finding extra yards there. I think both teams have really come to play this second half. What do you think the chats were like at halftime, Mike? Yeah, well, just listening in to uh, Scotty Eden them talking at halftime, and, all, and it, it was literally as, as boring and cliched as the sound, it was just going back and getting those those small things right, the things that they've been training over the last little while, and that's all it was and, and really that's all I ever really hear coaches say, it's, there's no new coaching it's, we've just gone away from game plan, let's go back to it, trust our physicality trust the, our connection, and then we, we can uh, get on top Yeah, as you say then, my the pre-work is complete uh, before you get here, um, and so now it's just trusting the processes, relying on all the work that you've done before you get here, and just putting it out on display, now's the easy part, now's the fun part, isn't it? Yeah, for sure you got it right with the Southland boys high team. What are we thinking here? 
Oh, a great back foot. Hard luck there. Unfortunately, the ball goes to the ground. A penalty potentially, or just back to the mark. Roll ball. Southland boys look to work out of their half. Great lift there by the number eight from Palmerston, Dean's Emery, to make the first touch, and he makes the second two. He's going to be worked off his three feet coming through the park here. We'll look to see if Southland boys try to target his channel a little bit down that right link side for Palmerston North boys with a big drive there from the number 10, Spain. Oh, yeah. unlucky there. But the penalty gained nonetheless. And as we talk about with Spain coming through the middle of the field there, we see him in the link position, and then we see him coming through the middle position, setting up one hell of a platform for Muli Aina to come off the back here. Yep, Finn Hurley, he's on as well in the link spot. There with Jerome. Skipped past Jerome, unfortunately couldn't quite get it out to uh, Finn Hurley there. A few gaps opening up out wide there for Palmerston North boys. They'll be looking to close that up. Um, lucky there that the ball went to ground as we see Palmerston North coming out of the, their own half with our number 14 there, Nate Davis, controlling the ruck very well. Still 4-3, Palmerston North in front, but just those last four sets, I feel like there's a switch in the momentum and that Southland boys higher just started to get back on top. Pumps the North not quite getting to where they could have an attacking touch, and I reckon that's really from the defence now. And like I talked about um, after hearing Scotty Eden and, and the other coach of Southland, uh, Liam Howley, the talk at halftime, I just thought that Southland would come out a little bit more direct, a little bit more focused and intent in what they're doing. And then when you see Muliaina working with Spain, as we see the number 16 from Southland, throws on up, unfortunately, just went forward. Hard luck there, I think, uh, were Southland boys. A great scoop there and set up from Muliaina with Jack Brock on the scoop and a penalty given away with Southland boys within 10 metres of the line. What are they going to look for here, Mike, do you think? Well, that's my question to you because what I would do is just throw a long ball out to the left. Well, and it's, it's almost like you <laughs> pre-predicted that, Mike. Wow, that is what we call Eyes Up Footy with Mika Muliaina taking advantage of the space there straight after the penalty was blown and finding his winger in the corner. What a great finish that was. A great pass to number 15, Josh Carnes there in the corner and a great finish. Yeah, that was simple. That wasn't even really a touch. It was almost like a rugby. Catch Absolutely. it, get on the outside, throw the long ball and score the try. Four all. And again, that momentum. Southland have really got on top. Palmerston North really need to score one here to hold that momentum that Southland boys high have wrestled off them in the second half. Good opportunity here as we see Sherrod chase. A great low game there, but going into day one, might no drop-offs on day one, is there? No, no drop-offs until it gets into when there has to be a result, and that tends to not happen until day three. You like a drop-off? Oh, I'm not the first to run out on the drop-off field, but um, <laughs> the nerves tend to kick back in straight away, but uh, I do enjoy getting out there on the odd occasion. Here we see Southland. They have absolutely flicked the switch the second half fortunately couldn't quite get the timing right there the number two from Southland but they are absolutely pumping it down the middle of the field against this Pumpton North Boys High School we see the dynamic duo a very strong plant there again That's by unfair. Thomas Spain That's how, how can you get a hard touch when you're quarter of the size against exactly the exactly <laughs> no, I mean look Thomas Spain came in there with a very positive body position. Unfortunately, Palmerston North boys giving away the penalty there, but as you say, my, how <laughs> on earth do you approach touching him? Rico. Set things up. Spain went into dummy half. A short ball. Good touch there from the Palmerston North middles. Staying connected. How are they scoring here, bud? I think they'll look to go through Muli Aina again. I think he'll look to be the main strike weapon with oh, Spain throwing the dummy. And oh. we've got to try. Look at that. Even fooled me. Here I was thinking Muli Aina to get the ball back. Spain, what can't he do? He is having a great game, isn't but he? That's smart, right? I think everyone, including you, thought that it was going to be Muli Aina as it has been. Uh, knowing that the defence are probably thinking that Spain fakes out to him, turns around, Throws the ball to the number eight that's there. That's stepping inside, and, and again, the job wasn't done when he caught the ball. He still had to evade one defender and get the ball down before the shutting defender got to him. So really, really good work there from the Southland boys high team, and in particular, Thomas Spain. Yeah, and a great finish there by Justin Shaw. Uh, two, two of their very 
Uh, strong, powerful links combining well there. And unfortunately, just a bit of chat here coming out of the Palmerston North boys team. It looks like we are getting quite heated as South and boys have taken the lead. Rima Kitefa. Ono minuti e toiana i te hafe tuarua o tēnei kemu. Who would have thought teenage boys getting a bit heated? It's truly good to see. It's truly good to see the way that it was handled by the referee, and I have no doubt the coach sent a quiet word, and the Palmerston player will be back out. But Southland straight into attack again. And another try there to our left winger. Our number 15 from Southland boys, Josh Carnes. I took my eye off the monitor and was watching that live. I actually thought he was pressing it down on the five meter line, <laughs> seven meter line, sorry. It was just a great setup here by our number nine with uh, our scoop coming through number seven, Nick Allenden. Very, very quick out of dummy half. And very patient, didn't rush it, found our 15. Josh Carnes, I think that's a double for him on the, on the left wing there, but a great setup. Great platform laid there by uh, the number nine, Josh O'Connell. The scoop by Allenden and the finish by Carnes. Yeah, 4 1 to Southland in the second half. <clears throat> They've really come out with a plan and the execution's been great. Almost thought that was a forward pass there. As a part of the North Boys High get another set. Natai in the middle. Bailey Natai. Often got his hands on the ball when Palmerston North are down this end of the field. He'll make his way back towards the middle. And we'll see what him and uh, Dean Emery can look to do to combine here. As we see the number one, Sherrod Chase on the ball in his low game. What a strike that was. An absolute weapon that dive has shown to be for him. As Ngatai, not involved, but I'm sure his presence alone would have made defenders hold off a bit to open up that space there for Sherrod Chase to get low and score that try. Yeah, totally. The quality of the player is what they make people do even when they don't have the ball. And uh, Ngatai has that about him. A beautiful work there from... Sherard Chase. Just the vision there by Sherard Chase to, to throw the dummy to the rapper coming around um, and then to see that the space had opened up and reach, arm with, reach out with his right arm and one hell of a dive there. 5-6, timely hit back. Good touch there from the number nine from Palmerston North. Boys, right. Williams, Case Williams. Again, he'll be called on. Oof. A Mark. double double defensive stop there in the corner. You can't ask for anything else from your wingers there. What a great stop as Southland boys look to work their way up the field in the hope that they can get another dot down to equal this game up here. Yeah, Case Williams, he only had two people to defend. He said, give me a third. Yeah, absolutely. As we see Palmerston North boys working up the field here, looking to bring it a little bit more wide off the centre there. And now number 16 from Southland boys, Jack Brock, working very well, stable on defence, good footwork, good balance, and he's able to shut down that long-range scoop there from Palmerston North boys, keeping them quite far away from their line there. It's been quite, quite cool to see just in terms of the work that the Southland boys high school are doing on defence. They're getting the ball a long way off their defensive scoreline, and so they've been able to get down to their attacking end uh, with a few more touches up their sleeves. To see them working again, it's cookie play, stepping short side, Long ball left to right. We see that combination there of Allenden and O'Connell, the seven and nine from Southland boys. A very lethal partnership they've got going on here, and I'm excited to see how they're going to close out this game. Yep, two and a half to go, 6-5. Palmerston North with a timely hit back. Wee. They looked like one of those passes in the Chiefs versus Crusaders oh. game. <laughs> <laughs> and as we see a great ball off the deck there, he looks like a bit of a half back with that pass. But uh, as we see Southland boys coming out of the, their half here, and I think it's going to come down to time management, uh, coaching, and probably just a little bit of leadership here from their key players as we see Muli Aina with the extra yards in behind. Fifth touch, where are they going to look to close off? I'd say they'll try come back this way a little bit. Speed on the outside, he's through. Oh, Great oh. pass back inside and a cover touch there is made. Six in the corner as Palmerston North boys look to play out of their half. That would have been an absolute killer for the Palmerston North boys high team. 20 metres off your defensive scoreline, it's the fifth touch, there's really nothing on. And when you get scored against, I know when I had my coaching hat on, it was just a, oh, you're kidding Absolutely. me. Absolutely. But they stayed focused, which is a real credit to the Palmerston North boys high team. They didn't just wait for someone else to do the mahi. And you've seen that winger and the link um, 
come in and save that from an almost certain try. And kotahi minutes here to Yana. And we will see a little bit of game management, I'd say, here from Southland boys, not to be try, to try to be too aggressive on their touches coming through the field. They don't want to give away a penalty where they see a long ball from Ngatai. Caught well by number 16 on the wing there, Manaya Rudolph, unfortunately defended just as well by Southland boys as we see them get some extra yards up the far side of the field. 50 seconds left. You'd see, want to see a bit of game management here, wouldn't you, Mike? Yeah, I'd say they're going to get a set each, and that'll be about it. So Palmerston North, they want to have their best set of defence right now, be really, really accurate in the transition phase through to the other end and, and chuck something on the end of it that hopefully can get them across the line. But Southland boys fight. Said no thanks. And as we've spoken about the whole game, my it's those effort areas coming off the field and setting up a great platform for your team coming on. And there's that number seven again, Nick Allenden, with the try assist. That scoop out of dummy half proved to be too lethal for the defence of Palmerston North. And a great finish. Too easy there, my. Yeah, it was really, really pretty. It wasn't much touch move about it, but what the players were doing is everyone was still moving, and instead of just staying on their line, they are seeing where the defender was and getting into the spaces where that they could become an option. 5-7. Great game there, Sean. Yes, my. And Kuamutu Tekemu Tsuatoru or Tenei Ata. Uh, Fitu Kiterima, Southland boys coming out victorious there over Palmerston North boys. A very, very fine display of a touch football there all morning. My, uh, we're off for lunch now and we'll be back very shortly.